Hi, I'm Nadidan Sari, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the zoom level and target of your camera in runtime, and easiest way to do it. So, without any further ado, let's begin. In the last video, you remember that we did this. We zoomed a little bit with the uh, options that Game Maker provides for us, and we have this camera follow us in all the direction, and everything works fine, right? But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can zoom in, zoom out, and change your target, okay? You remember from last video, we enabled viewport, we clear viewport background, we check the visibility of our viewport zero, we change some value, so we changing the width and height of our viewport zero camera properties, uh, we zoomed in, okay? So we changing that, you can zoom in and zoom out, right? And we didn't change anything about our viewport, but there was one tip that the viewport width and height should be the multiply value of the width and height of our camera so it won't stretch to fill up our camera view okay so and we select the obg player to follow and the horizontal border and vertical border we've set it for 200 so it won't go near the edge of our camera and we did talk about it in the last video in this video we're going to talk about zooming so as you know i did create this project and I wanted to show you how you can have a project that is readable and this is the right way to do it. So we have enum, we have player values that is a struct and there are some value that we want to use and in a step function we just have a state machine and three function for inputting chain movement and apply gravity and everything is readable and it is easy to develop and make it cooler, right? In this case, for zooming and unzooming, I want to use this OBG player. Again, I don't want to create another object because I want everything to be compact and modular as possible. So in here, I want to add an event and I want to say when the key up is down, okay, zoom in. And when the key down is down, zoom out, right? Okay. For doing that, first thing that we, we should do is get the camera of our project. So you can see we have a camera in here, we have a viewport, and we can get all of those in runtime, right? So what we need, we need this camera in here. So view, get, camera, and that's it. What viewport you want to get the camera of is viewport zero. We want to get the camera of viewport zero, okay? So that's all you need to do to get the camera. And I want to call it cam and equal it to this. So now we have the camera. The next thing that I want to do, let's say, uh, I want to change these values back to what it, what it was before. So let's just run it now. And um, you can see now it's zoomed in, but we want, to, we want it to be zoomed out. So we can play with that, okay? So for changing the zoom level, I want to show you two ways. One way using uh, linear interpolation or LERP, and one way just set it. When you just set it, camera quickly go to that position, go to that um, zoom level that you want. But when you use uh, LERP function, it will go smoothly. It will start slow to zoom and increase the um, speed of zooming and at the end decrease uh, speed of zooming. Okay, I hope you understand what I'm talking about. So we can see it, of course. So when we hit up, we want to zoom, right? So for that, we say camera set view size, okay? Camera set view size, and that's all we need to do. For the first input, we want to give it the camera that we get from the viewport and the width and height of our camera. For the zooming level, I want to use this value that is in here. So let's just copy and paste it in here or write it down, okay? So we want, we want to have these values. For simplicity, we can just cut this and put it in create function in here so we have this camera everywhere so this is less line of code than before okay so add another event for key down and um for we have up and we want down now so when we they hit down arrow in their keyboard what value we want to value we want this zoom level Okay, you can play with that. But what I what I did is just the uh, window size of my screen. I set it to, uh, to default zoom level, and when we zoom it, um, we want to zoom. Um, we want to zoom by two x. Okay, so it um, for that we just divide these values by two. Okay, so in this up, these values is just divide divided value by two of these values in here. Okay, so now that we have this, let's just run it. 
and you can see no it's zoom if we head down it will unzoom again if we head up it will zoom and you can see it will zoom and unzoom but it's not cool right so how we can do it to be smoothly zoomed to our player and unzoomed from our player so let me show you how you can do that for doing that i want to use linear interpolation or layer so for doing that we want to use layer function and if you don't know what layer is layer just uh, uh, doing changing the position or uh, scaling or whatever value by percentage each frame um if i wanted if i if i show you with example it will be easy to understand right so if we hit middle mouse on it we can see the documentation in here and you can see if we learn from 0 to 10 by 0.5 it's like saying 50 percent of these values so it will be 5 15 percent of between 0 and 10 is 5 okay so we want to use that to have a smooth zoom in and zoom out and when we've done it we, you will understand what is happening the value that we want to change is the zoom in level of our camera so we want to change the width and height of our camera okay so for that the value that i want to change is camera get view width okay so this will give us the width of our camera so the camera is our cam okay second input is the value that we want to go to okay so the value we want to go to is this value okay so we want to go from this value to this value by 10 percent each time so 0.1 is it's like 10 percent okay so 10 in each frame go from this value to this value by 10 percent okay and put it in the variable let's just call this variable new width okay so let's just do it for height as well let's just change this to height change this to height as well we want to use the camera and the value that we want to lerp into is this value so let's just copy and paste it in here now that we have this let's just put this value that we have here to here because we need this new width and new height every time it's set at each frame it's set the new height and new width okay so with that we can just copy and paste this tree line paste it in here of course we didn't need this line so but i wanted these values just put this value in here by copy and pasting with ctrl c and ctrl v and that's all we needed to do um next step that we could done in here we can just declare these values as var because we want it to be local to these events so let's just do that okay uh, no everything is set up let's just play it to see if it's working or not and you can see we are zoom and we are on zoom we are zoom we are on zoom we are zoom with just some line of code we can have zoom okay whatever level of zoom that we want okay so you can see it's a smooth and again when you play your game everything will be correct that's all that there was to it to zoom and on zoom for your camera and it works fine and it's simple and it's just three line of code for zooming and unzooming with a smooth motion okay so in the next video i'm going to show you how you can uh, change the target of your camera to this player or the player in in another position or you want to just show uh, the level to your uh, player and how you can change the position of um, your camera it's easy i know you know how you can do that but i want to show you the right way and the best way that i know of to do it if you know better way please tell me i always wanted to know more thank you very much for watching please if you want to help me hit that like button thank you very much bye